tough scores on recruitment in assessments. Now, when you use an assessment of any kind, you need to decide what the pass mark will be and decide on a cut score of which anyone who doesn't meet that level is not selected and is discontinued from the process. Now, there are at least three considerations when deciding on a cut score. Firstly, the impact of candidate quality is perhaps the most important consideration. Now, assuming you're using valid psychometric assessments that predict performance in the workplace, the higher the cut score, quite simply, the better the quality of candidate. Now, imagine if you don't use the assessment at all and you pick people more or less at random, then the quality will vary considerably. You'll have some high performers, some moderate performers, and some low performers. However, when you set high cut scores, you minimize the probability of low performers making it through the process. Consequently, the more selective you are, the better the quality of candidate will be. However, the next consideration is the number of candidates in the selection process. High cut scores, quite simply, require you to have a larger applicant pool. For example, if you want to take the top 1% of performers and you only have five applicants, the odds are none of them are going to pass. Consequently, if you're going to be very selective, you are going to need very large applicant pools to support that. Consequently, the cut scores for emerging talent schemes, for example, large graduate schemes, they can be quite high because the applicant pools tend to be very large. And the final consideration is adverse impact. Now, when you do set high cut scores, if the assessment shows any adverse impact, it's very likely to exasperate it. Um, not only does so high cut scores exasperate adverse impact in and of itself, but if you only have a few applicants from certain minority backgrounds, the odds are they could all be screened out because only a small portion of your applicant pool will make it through the process. So those are the three things to consider. The quality of the applicants you're looking for, whether you have enough candidates to support that cut score, and ensuring that adverse impact isn't a concern in the selection process.